So let us begin our study of trigonometry. The first step is to learn how to name different sides of a right angle triangle. So let's say this is the right angle triangle. This is the right angle. This angle I've called theta and the third angle I've called phi. Theta and phi are just symbols just like you have A, B, C or X, Y, Z. Right? Now once you have got all the angles marked, you have to realize the first thing that is the 90 degree angle is the largest angle in a right angle triangle. And why is that so? Because the other two angles must necessarily add up to 90. That is how you'll get 180, is it not? Okay. So the largest angle in the triangle is 90 degrees. And the side opposite to that is called the hypotenuse. Let's call it H, the hypotenuse. Now, the easiest way to find the angle, the side opposite any angle is just ignore the two sides which are making up the angle. So this is the angle. And which are the two sides which are the arms of the angle? This side and this side. If you ignore those two, what is left? The third side. That is known as the side opposite this angle. So that is hypotenuse. Now let's say we choose theta. Whenever we are naming the different sides of a right angle triangle, it's important to choose one angle other than the 90 degree angle. So let's say we choose this angle and it is theta. Now the side opposite it is known as opposite. So how do we find the side opposite it? Just like I said, ignore the arms which are making up this angle. So this side is the opposite. And what is left is known as the adjacent. All right. So this is the way you name different sides of a right angle triangle. You have got the hypotenuse, which is always opposite 90 degrees. You have got the opposite, which is opposite the chosen angle and adjacent, which is the remaining side. Now this whole arrangement could change if we choose a different angle. Okay. So now suppose I say, okay, name all the sides. And we say, okay, now phi is, the si phi is the angle that you have to choose. Now name all the sides. So hypotenuse remains the same because it's always opposite 90 degrees. But the opposite is always opposite the chosen angle. So now I'm choosing phi. So I have to ignore the arms which I'm making up phi. And this side here would then become the opposite. And what is left will become the edges. Right? So just knowing how to name triangles in different situations, name the sides of a right angle triangle in different situations is the first step. Okay? Let's do a little more practice in naming these sides. 